awesome sauce! Scene one, Apple, take one. So, I have two. Um, this is both from the same area. Um, the only thing is, is it rained the night before on this one, so there's moisture in this, and it's not going to want to go through the uh, strainer um, as easy as this one will. Um, but the first thing that I want to do is I want to um, take out all the particulates that are um, like seashells and things like that, rocks, twigs, whatever, and that's what the strainer's for. And then I'm also going to be, during the time that I'm doing that, I'm going to be putting it in a bucket that's got uh, bleach in it and water. And then this will end up help uh, killing any type of uh, microorganisms that are inside there. And it's going to be kind of sanitizing a little bit. That's not the only thing that I'll be doing um, for that, but it's going to end up helping. Now, I had gotten this not directly at the water. This was a good, uh, I'd say almost like 200 feet away from the water, okay, where this was at. Um, because of that, there should be a pretty low salt content in this um, because the rain washes it away and it's not close enough to the to water where it can actually end up um, maintaining that salt. I shouldn't see too much like dust and silt and stuff inside here, so it should be a fairly clean sand as well, um, opposed to like a sand that you would get uh, for, you know, like a play sand or construction sand. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour this out because this is the bucket I'm going to be using to put the, the clean stuff in here. And um, and I'm gonna go rinse this out real quick. It seems like a lot of water, I know, but as I start putting the sand in, it's gonna start displacing and kind of exiting. Let me get some bleach. This is not gonna be the only thing I use to sanitize. Um, I'm also gonna end up baking this afterwards. How am I gonna know what the uh, saline level is on this. Um, well, I've got a um, saline. I have a specific gravity uh, thing uh, for when I had a saltwater aquarium that I can use and it'll tell me what the salinity is, at least um, to a certain level of accuracy. I suspect that this does not have too much uh, salt in it simply because of the location of where I got it from. Look for rings and shark teeth and all that other good stuff. Let's put this to the side. is obviously stuff that I wouldn't want in the aquarium, but what's going to end up happening is uh, during the time that I'm filling this, that's going to be some of the very first stuff that ends up uh, leaving the uh, bucket because of the surface tension and the displacement. And as this is kind of cruising down and it's sinking, it's being surrounded by that bleach water. So once again, it's going to help waste any microorganisms that are inside there. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. All of this just to save some money on aquarium gravel. What a cheap ass. Now in a scenario like this, I should, probably, I should be able just to put sand in here and then move this back and forth to clean that out. So this this wet this wet sand just by doing this I should be able to kind of filter it and not have to wait for it to dry. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of black sand in this. Anything that's up here that's on top that's uh like dirty water that's brown, eventually this will settle to the bottom of the aquarium anyway. But um, I do want to get any clay out of here, you know, any type of silt. As far as today goes, I think that's about that. We do have some organic material up here on top that um, ideally I wouldn't want that in my aquarium. But for the most part, we got that pretty clean so far. Okay, so what we've got here is this is from my aquarium before when it was a saltwater aquarium 
and there was a bunch of stuff that was inside this microorganisms and stuff I actually had brought it outside and I had just let it um, set out here with a whole bunch of my other rocks for a long time but I'm gonna reuse it okay so essentially what I've done is I let this soak in bleach water um, about a cup of bleach um, inside here for a couple of days and right now I'm letting it soak in just regular water but now that I've done that and I know that um, I've killed pretty much almost everything that's in here except for the stuff that's really deep in the rock but we're going to take care of that later I'm going to take these and I'm going to put it out in the sun so it can kind of dry a little bit and then when we're doing the sand the second part of cleaning up the sand we're also going to end up doing these and we'll put these in the oven as well and we'll end up uh, baking these so that way once again anything that's in there that's alive it's dead okay um, problem is this absorbs water and so you have to do it slowly okay so that's the first thing this right here is pretty much just like regular water and I need to check it for salinity and so by using this guy that you get at any um, aquarium place for saltwater aquariums it's going to tell you what the salinity level is well there should be nothing inside there okay but we need to know what it is in here too okay where the, the sand is so um, we'll just go ahead and pick this up here and of course there's going to be stuff in it but the important thing is checking All right, what do we got here it's very low it's just as low as regular um, it's just as low as regular water okay so the only thing that we have to worry about um, as far as uh, the sand goes is just taking out any bleach and any other uh, dirt that we don't really want in it this once again regular just regular water nothing special about it and I'm going to come in here with the strainer kind of makes this a little bit okay and essentially I'm just trying to dilute the bleach I'll know the bleach is gone when it no longer smells like bleach okay and I, I'm getting a little bit of a bleach smell right now. I'm going to give that just a second to kind of settle and then pour off a lot of the water on top. Once again, that will take out any of the, the really fine particles that are going to end up clouding up my aquarium. Okay. When I first put this in there, I know it's going to cloud it up no matter what, but after a day or two it should settle. Okay, so what we have here is the sand that I have kind of let drain so most of the water leaves it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop this stuff out now and I'm going to put it in casserole dishes and then just put it in the oven. And I'm going to set the oven for about 300 degrees. There's no reason to go really hot. 300 degrees should probably do it. If you want to go 400, I think it's excessive. But 300, that should kill anything that's alive inside there. The one thing that you can't really get out of there is going to end up being very very small pieces of biological matter and these are things that just simply need to decompose so after this ends up going inside the aquarium I need to let the aquarium actually run for a while um, probably a couple of weeks to a lot of that a lot of this stuff decompose let that filter kind of uh, deal with some of that stuff um, get that bacteria inside there and I'll be putting some starters and everything that's inside it to help kind of get all that going um, just to start making it a really healthy tank um, so let's go ahead and put these in casserole dishes. Let's go ahead and uh, put it in the oven and um, bake it until it's nice and dry and we don't have to worry about any cooties in there. Okay, so I kept it in here for a good four hours and it creates a lot of moisture. Uh, and it comes up through here and it got up down there. At least some of the steam will help me clean the, uh, the oven off. When it gets a little bit uh, cooler, I can go ahead and put this inside the aquarium and then do another batch and then put the rocks in as well. Okay, so the first batch um, I have placed in the aquarium here. And I'm going to add a little bit more because I want to build up the rear and have this kind of move forward a little bit. Um, and generally, you want about, I don't know, about two inches maybe of um, sand, at least for me, inch and a half, maybe two inches of sand. Um, at least maybe for gravel, but I think it wouldn't hurt to maybe put another maybe two gallons of sand in this and then afterwards uh, we'll be good. So I'm just filling this up with a 
water from the hose because this is going to end up um, basically circulating and going through the filter and everything and after I end up putting the starter and everything and checking the pH it's going to be running for at least a week or two before I put any fish in it so any chlorine that's in there or anything like that it'll end up getting taken care of all of the fine particles of sand will end up settling down or getting into the filter and this will end up becoming crystal clear so let's go ahead and fill this guy up as soon as this guy is uh, full and I have my pump and everything turned on uh, I'll show you what we got and then after it clears up and uh, all the water is good to go and I know that the pH level is fine and the salt level is fine show you that too so this is after I've got the pump hooked up and quite honestly a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing here is actually air bubbles um, it's really not that foggy it's really not that foggy at all I mean right here is like really clear I'm seeing just a bunch of bubbles I think probably here in about an hour and a half this thing's going to be cleared up okay it looks like it's cleared up just a little bit but one of the things that I've noticed is it's starting to collect a lot of micro bubbles so there's a lot of micro bubbles in this Part of me is starting to think that this might be my pump, like it's sucking in air somewhere. There's not a, like a really uh, good solid connection. But at the same time, um, the filter media and everything is new and uh, there's a possibility that there's still some air left in that filter and it's just going to take a little while for it to disappear. So um, instead of me boring you with every hour turning this on and seeing if we can see a little bit more uh, inside there I'll just wait till tomorrow morning and we'll turn it on and we'll see uh, what we got but I'm not sure if you can see it or not but on the glass there's it's starting to form micro bubbles okay so I had changed the water out a few times and it just to make sure that uh, there was nothing else that's residual inside there now even though I had cleaned it and I had baked it and I had done all that other stuff we still have small particulates of organic matter that's going to be in this sand and it just has to deteriorate. That's just going to have to be what we have to do. Just going to have to let it wait. Um, this fogginess that we see here is what's known as bacterial bloom, and it's very common in uh, new tanks, really. Um, and it doesn't really mean anything's wrong. Okay, not necessarily. It just means that there's a bloom of bacteria, and this happens because that's within the main filter. Um, I had changed everything to new filter medium, okay? And so there's no good bacteria inside there yet, okay? Um, but as time goes by, that's going to end up building up, and we're going to have a nice uh, form of good bacteria in the uh, pump and um, in the filter, and uh, everything's going to start clearing, and it'll be crystal clear. Now, what I've done is I've put in um, eight goldfish, or the like of, um, inside here and these guys are almost like the canary in the uh, <laughs> in the uh, mine shaft uh, I'm using these dudes to uh, basically tell me if there's something wrong with the uh, water as well as I'm using these guys to get that good bacteria started so these guys are going to end up breaking in the tank for me um, and if they end up dying it tells me there's something that's in the water that the sand just simply you know it is what it is um, but these have been in for a few days and they are healthy they've been behaving themselves and they've been going around in the sand and I think they've been finding little pieces of organic matter in the sand and eating it and spitting it out and doing all that other good stuff but um, they're basically cleaning my tank and they're setting it up for me they're going to do the rest of it so the sand does work it does work and here probably within about five or six days after that bacteria starts building up in the uh, filter, this will become crystal clear. Okay, so it's been a few more days, and you can see fish are still getting along just fine, no problems, they're healthy, swimming around. The water is clearing up. There's still a little bit of bacterial bloom in there, but it is definitely um, getting clearer as the days go by. I mean, we can definitely see a lot further back there. The fish are healthy. No problems with the fish. The sand is going to work just fine. And um, I'll keep these guys inside here, might as well. I don't really know what I'm going to be putting in this aquarium yet. I might just get a whole bunch more goldfish, have a school of these dudes in here, you know. I don't know yet. But yeah, the sand works, guys.
just got to make sure you clean it real well uh, before you put it in there and just be patient um, you know just be patient because that bacterial bloom it's gonna it's gonna discourage you it might only last for a few days but could last for a couple of weeks it just depends um, but uh, in this particular case I'm good to go I think within three days it'll be crystal clear um, so that's my video and hopefully you enjoyed it and until next time guys I'll talk to you later just look at the world around you right here on the ocean floor such wonderful things around you what more are you looking for under the sea under the sea